What's going on, everybody? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So in this one, I'm doing the Mount Olympus, whatever it's called, side event. This is the path with the shards, so I'm going for the shards, not the rank up materials. And I wanted to do this entire run solely using my rank 3 Apocalypse and Mr. Negative. And the run goes really well. So most of the fights, I'm going to be using Mr. Negative because I like my brand new toy. I'm going to be using him a lot in the future because he really is just so fun to play. And I believe very effective as a champion. So first, we got a long shot up here, which is an amazing matchup for him because it's very easy to parry those two hits the special one i kind of messed up there but i'm fine i'm gonna just hold back here convert my light into dark energy and double it via nick fury and i think i only need about one more heavy attack and the fight will be over i'm going way over kill here i don't need any more of these furies usually at 20 dark energy you can throw it and be done we saw there is doing eight thousand a tick and he just goes down extremely quickly so Next fight, we have an Immortal Hulk, so once again, going to be a Mr. Negative fight, as well as the next Red Guardian fight, and these are just standard matchups. There's a <laughs> little notification because I was going to watch KT1, but I started recording, so after that, and this is just the same exact fight as last time. There aren't any tricky nodes on these fights. It's basically just training ground. So if you have recently acquired a Mr. Negative, I would highly recommend trying him out on these pads because these are all fairly easy matchups for him. And there's some harder ones as you go on, but it is really good for training your Mr. Negative skills, parrying those special one hits. It's not like Winter Soldier easy, but it's also good because you'll get skillful at the fight. So right here, I'm just going to keep spamming heavies. Uh, I'm going to parry this, or I don't parry it, but I'm fine here. I'm going to throw this, and then once I get up to another Fury, I'm just going to go crazy on my damage. So I throw a special two. You can see I hit it with 14 degen, and only 14 degen with not a lot of Furies is doing around 3,500 per second. So he is going to go immortal here, that I do remember, so he's unblockable. I can't parry. And a nice intercept there. And I'm just trying to get those uh, gamma charges down. Now, I do get clipped there uh, accidentally. I think right here, I try to get those uh, light converted into dark, but I don't quite do it in time. So I just charge heavy, finish off this fight, because he will be dead by the time that cooldown on Immortal goes. And then the fight's absolutely fine. So right here, he's been really annoying. I could not intercept him for my life. And then he just clips me with a heavy attack. So that was a little bit annoying, but everything's fine. Throw off a special two, and we're done. So... A little bit of a sloppy fight, so you can see I'm still not perfect with Mr. Negative. I have gotten a lot better. That was just a really bad fight on my part, but I think the rest of the fights that I use with him are actually going to be pretty clean, pretty solid fights. So next we've got a Red Guardian. This is, once again, standard, but it is a little bit more annoying because you don't want him to throw that special one because it will place the slow on you, and then you won't be able to do the evade to convert your light into dark energy. So any matchups where there is true strike slow matchups, those are going to be annoying for Mr. Negative because you can't really get into his damage then. You can see right here I can't really do anything, but it is nice against Red Guardian because you do get that willpower healing. Here I got the parry bug, so I missed a parry, and that was a little bit annoying. But it's fine. We're at 7 of the light energy. We just need to get one conversion to dark, and we'll be absolutely fine. Right here, I pushed into a special 2, so we're good. I hold heavy, because I know we're going to be fine. Heavy, and immediately go into special 2 afterward, because I'm pretty confident the damage is going to be enough. So, at 20 dark energy, no furies. That's doing 5,400 a tick, and he just evaporated. So, those are the first three fights with Mr. Negative. Now, I'm going to use Apocalypse for the next two, because they are some shrug-off champions, and Mr. Negative does suck in those matchups, too. So, those are some two matchups where you don't want to bring a Mr negative true strike uh slow and also debuff struck off because he highly relies on parrying and also those degens as his damage output so those are the things i just want to point out with mr negative but this this is just light work for apocalypse this is like a nice stroll in the park on a sunday afternoon because he's not going to be taking any damage he's going to throw his special attacks without fear of getting any cancellations on the debuffs because they are all permanent you can see one special two in that crossbones got absolutely nuked so i do love mr negative he's really cool probably a top five favorite champion but come on now he's no apocalypse that boy's still number one so uh, once again we got another debuff shrug off so apocalypse is going to join the party I switched to Mr. Negative for a second out of instinct, but I was like, wait a minute, he can't do this. So I switched back to Apocalypse because he will be able to handle this very easily. I think I do go for special ones in this fight just because I know that Hitmonkey has a smaller base health pool. But I didn't quite finish it in one special one, so we're going to be fine. Just going to take a little bit longer. And Apocalypse is actually really good for Hitmonkey, if you all didn't know. Because first off, you have the uh, no countering to the debuffs getting shrugged off. But also, you can get those evade charges really easily off Hitmonkey. As you know, he has that Assassin's Cunning mode 
where he cannot or where he evades the first hit after he activates it. So it's actually really good because it's a guaranteed charge of evade miss for Apocalypse. Like you can see there, it guaranteed it, and now we're up to 20 of those evade charges, given they won't be using the rest of the quest. But if it's a higher health hit monkey and it's a long quest of evade champions, then you won't have to worry about evade for the rest of the path. So another scenario where Apocalypse is just the go for. So just wanted to point that out. Now we are going to have a Deadpool fight here. So if you think I'm going to be taking anyone but Mr. Negative, you're crazy. Because I just got to get one special two, launch it, and then the degens and the heal reversal will do all the work I need for me. And something that I do want to point out, Mr. Negative, that I haven't pointed out in my re uh, previous videos, is that usually you want to start the fight with a parry heavy, and then immediately after the heavy, you want to dash in because like 99% of the time, there is enough time for you to dash in and get the, uh, what's it called, combo in after the heavy attack so it's really useful it's something that i use a lot mr negative it gives me a lot of ends so right now i'm just building up all the overkill and you're gonna see how much he drops from 30 to zero in about two seconds like mr negative is just absolutely insane given these are very small health pool opponents and the fact that they're like maybe 80 to 100 thousand health but I mean, this is rank three, Mr. Negative two, but it just shows you that even a rank one six star where I had him before could easily do this. This is just overkill damage at this point. I'm just doing it for fun, but yeah, Mr. Negative really is a beast. So I am going to use him in this Punisher matchup, even though I'd have class disadvantage because I do find it nice to get those parries off on the gunshots. See, I missed the first, what you want to do with that is you want to parry the first hit of that and then parry the first gunshot and let the rest come at you. So you saw I parried the first one there and we were absolutely good. So I'm going to launch my head heavy right here convert the light and dark and we're just gonna heavy attack in the corner and the fight will be over after this special attack and it's really good because it ignores punishers uh what's it called indestructible like you can see here it's gonna tick down fast and we don't ever have to worry about that indestructible coming in because i think mr negative just bypasses it somehow i'm not sure maybe it's like the delirium he places but whatever i'm not going to complain we're fine and uh, this is a really good matchup for mr negative i just want to point this out so Mr. Negative is, of course, a villain. Cosmic Ghost Rider places an armor up on villains. So this entire fight, I'm going to be healing from willpower. So we started the fight at around 17%. I just want to point that out. And we're going to see where I end the fight at just playing very normally. Now, given if this was a huge health Cosmic Ghost Rider, we would have so much time to heal up more health from this. But even in this fight, you're going to see how broken that regen is when you have a debuff on you that's permanent. So right now we're already up to 31%. We've gained about 15% of our health back. And we're going to gain a lot here because Cosmic Ghost Rider can't do anything against the wall. We're throwing it. My friend texts me, of course, and we're fine. So we gained about 20% just in that fight, which was only a one special two fight. If it was a two or three special two fight, we could have shot up to around 75%, which is just absolutely absurd. And this is the last fight I am going to be using Mr. Negative for. I think I do die on this fight. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure I do. I think I messed up War Machine Special 1, so that's a bit unfortunate. But he is still usable for this fight. Not a great option, I will admit, because War Machine has a lot of projectiles that you can't block on the Special 1. Or can't parry. You can block them, but it's going to eat a lot of damage. And... Usually you just want to have like the Punisher special one where it's like a few hits that you can do. But it is good for willpower. As you can see, I'm healing that 153 from all the suppression debuffs. Right here, I am going to try and beat out the, or what is it called, special one. But I didn't have enough time, so I did the strategy where you block. And then as they're about to throw a heavy, you just evade. So right here, he does place a rupture on me. And I'm going to heavy attack right into special two. So we're going to see how much damage this does. It is doing around 6,700 per second. And I do actually kill this fight. So I thought I didn't. I don't know why. But it was very easy once you get to the last phase because he gets all those regens. And if you have the special two petrifies active off Mr. Negative, just shoots down super quickly. So that was a great fight by him. And we're just going to end it, of course, with Big Daddy Apocalypse because Hercules, well... You can't really parry him, so Mr. Negative definitely isn't ideal for that because he does rely off of parry and the degens to do damage. So it's a little bit harder to get to them when you can't parry at all. And he also has some weird, like, heavy attack counters with this fight. It's just a little bit of a weird time, but Apocalypse don't care. Apocalypse is going to do this fight absolutely fine. I think I do get hit a few times because I was one of my first times fighting Hercules, but it's fine. So we're going to build up to, I think, our special two first because I know that Hercules has that poison resistance. We're going to bait out that special two, which I will say looks absolutely fantastic off Hercules. I do want to get this guy as a six star so badly, but no, I probably will not get him, but it's all fine. He's such a good champion. 
Uh, we throw our first special two. He's down to 35%. We're going to evade the special one, which is also really fun to watch and counter. Okay, he has really good special attacks that you can counter with someone like Cable. Cable is really good for this fight because you can just find so many openings for that long heavy attack. And right here, I intercept with special attack, and he is going to drop just after this. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just my first initial run of this, what's it called? Uh, Hercules Mount Olympus gauntlet thingy. So let me know if you would want to see a run of this with like three star champions only or four star champions because I would really be down to do something like that just to show that you can do this really with any type of champion. And yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Uh, let me know what kind of top 10 you guys would want to see next because I'm a little bit dry on those ideas. I was thinking either defenders or something like that. So let me know and I will see you guys in the next one.